Hey guys, Simply Betty here. So in my last video, I took down the Hobbit tank. The Hobbit tank was my pride and joy for about four years until I just decided I wanted to change. I ended up taking out just a massive amount of plants and I can't really move on from this project until I've done something with all the plants because there's a lot of them, especially moss. Did you see how much moss was there? There's so much moss. I've never even seen that much moss in one place at one time. So now the question is, what am I gonna do with all these plants? Well, I've already dealt with the parrot's feather. Um, I went ahead and I just, you know, stem plants are pretty easy to deal with. I found a tank I could plop them in. But now I have this just ton of moss. I have a ton of Anubias and like a bunch of other miscellaneous plants that I kind of have to figure out what I'm doing with before I can really move on from this project and on to the next one. I've decided that I'm gonna take some of the mini Christmas moss and tie it to some mesh pieces and then put those in a spare tank of mine to just sit and grow and get full for a while. Um, that way, you know, maybe I can sell a few on my website and then I'll probably put a bunch of the loose moss in like another tank of mine. Maybe I'll do that later today. I'm actually at work right now, but it's kind of slow. I'm gonna go grab myself some lunch and then I brought my moss bucket with me to work today <laughs> and all my mesh pieces. So I think um, I'm gonna go inside after lunch and just like tie moss to mesh. Don't tell my boss. So that's what I'm gonna do um, as long as it stays slow and I've gotten all my other paperwork done. So I didn't get as much done at work as I thought I would be able to. It wasn't slow, it was busy. Um, so I just had a big tub of moss under my desk for the whole day. It was worth a shot. My mommy had a shot. And I didn't have a shot, it was worth a shot. A big buffalo. Oh, I love your buffalo, he's so cute. Anyway, it's a really beautiful day outside today. I'm just gonna be tying some moss and mesh pieces. I managed to get like a little bit done at, the, at my workplace, which, you know, just a couple of these before it got busy on me. So I actually cut these out myself just from a piece of stainless steel mesh that I had. Like they're pretty big, like it's about the size of my face, sort of. And then I also have some of these smaller, more fine pieces. Ah, ah, ah. my little girl's touching me with her cold popsicle hands. Okay, oh, oh, burr, that's enough. So to tie the moss to these pieces of mesh, I'm just gonna use like a regular cotton thread. I'm gonna tie one end to like a corner just by wrapping it around a few times and then giving it just a basic little knot. I don't like moss. Why? Moss is not stinky. So now I have a piece of mesh with uh, a little cotton thread tied around one corner a few times. And what I'm gonna do is just put a little bit of my moss on top of the mesh in a really even layer, like a single layer of moss. The reason is you don't wanna stack it up and make it all clumpy when you're starting these, these mesh pieces. You just want like a nice even layer spread around the whole piece of mesh. Okay, so there I have kind of a nice even layer. So I think that's looking pretty good. Oh, I like your moss. Oh, now you like my moss? It's not stinky anymore? No. Oh, that's great. I like it. And so moss. I'm gonna take my cotton thread and just kind of wrap it around and I'm just securing it down. <laughs> And then I'll just kind of tie it off. Yeah, Mama. Oh, thank you. Can you put it on the chair? I can't. I can't do that. No. What is this? That's my thread. Can I have that back? Is this your tying? Yep, it's what I'm tying with. I tied off the end and that looks pretty nice. So this is just gonna go into a tank laying down kind of like this. And I'll wait till it gets nice and bushy. Like that might take a while. Moss doesn't exactly grow fast. It is so hard to get anything done with a little helper, with a little three and a half year old helper, helping me all the time. Just helping me and helping me all the time. I just spent like an hour tying moss. You can see it's nighttime now. I can't ever get anything done during the day. I just can't, I just can't do it. With all my helpers and my dogs running away and all my stuff to do, I should just give up and only do things at night. I should just learn by now. I ended up getting a whole bunch of uh, pieces. I know it's kind of hard to see in there. See that in there? I kind of have a bunch of little mesh pieces stacked up. So I'm going to go put these into a tank to just grow. A moss grows really slowly. This might take months to get a nice little bushy, uh, bushy pieces of moss onto these mesh pieces, but I think the end result will be kind of cool. 
and I'll time to see how long it takes. And doing all those mesh pieces really didn't use up very much mini Christmas moss at all. Like look at this. I still have all of this. I am going to loosen all of this up and put it into a spare 20 gallon of mine. Maybe I'll put some for sale on my website, like some little golf ball sizes. You don't wanna have too much at one time because like if I were to just put it in as a big dense clump like this, I'm sure the top would do great, but every all the moss underneath would, would die off and it would rot. So the, the key to really nice moss is to spread it out and not let it clump up like this because the bottom will die off. So I'll go put these in a tank. Okay, I went ahead and I put all my moss uh, pieces into play in this 10 gallon tank of mine. All my extra moss, I'm gonna throw into this empty 20 gallon tank that I'm specifically filling up just to put a bunch of moss into. That's a lot. I have so much moss. So this tank right here behind me, it has the mesh pieces in it. We'll see how they, they do. And then the tank below, which is a little on the darker side, I need to add some more light to it. That's where all the other moss is. It's getting late now, so I think tomorrow I'm gonna deal with the rest of the plants. Find some homes for them. I put the parrot feather into one of my 40 gallon betta holding tanks. At the time it had a few fish in it, but now it's just, it's empty with just some plants and a few snails. I hooked up my CO2 to this tank as well and my canister filter just to keep the bacteria going and alive. For most of the rest of the plants, like the Anubias, Cryptoparva, and everything else, I actually set up a few new five gallon tanks for the fish room using these plants. Those videos will be coming up in the future. There'll be walkthroughs of making a low tech little tank. It's been a few weeks since I took this footage and the moss is coming in, though slowly. They're in fairly low light tanks with just a little fertilizer supplementation, so it might take a while to see some good growth, but it'll come. Thanks for watching guys. Be sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.